Well, this morning we're taking a closer look at why Franklin Township is asking voters to OK millions more dollars for its schools. Franklin is one of five local districts with referendums on the primary election ballot May 3rd. You got Edinburgh, Lebanon, Mount Vernon and Perry Township also needing money for big plans. So we're taking a closer look at those requests. Our Bob Siegel shows us why Franklin Township wants voters to do something they've never done before. To understand why Franklin Township is asking taxpayers to approve new spending for the school district, just take a look at the hallway at Franklin Central High School or at the building boom that's taking place all across the township. We've seen tremendous growth. We've increased 1,800 students over the past five years. We have a demographic study that shows we're going to grow another 2,000 students over the next 10 years. And so we have to have a place to put them. You guys want to read the whole thing or your, a couple lines? Sorry. English teacher Lisa Laker says with so much growth, many classrooms at the high school are just too small for the type of teaching that students need. It does not allow a teacher to have collaborative learning, breakout groups, even circulating around the room, there is not enough space. The vast majority of the $98 million referendum would pay for renovations at the high school. <laughs> Franklin Central looks like it's in great shape, but the core of the building is almost 50 years old. The worst case scenario of 50 year old piping that was behind insulation. The school district's facilities director says what students and parents cannot see, the infrastructure, is in desperate need of replacement. The ductwork above the ceilings, uh, the HVAC units, uh, they wouldn't see that. Uh, electrostatic precipitator. And some classrooms, like these science labs, are still using computers and equipment that are decades old. A major renovation at the high school would change that. It takes time to plan out the project and have the project come to fruition. And so um, that's why now it's an important time for us to go and ask the community for this referendum. Residents in Franklin Township currently have the lowest tax rate in Marion County, in large part because they have never approved a school referendum. If voters pass this one, it would cost the owner of the average home in Franklin Township an extra $216 a year. School administrators say they understand that that is significant for taxpayers, but they say not approving a referendum could end up being even more costly. I can promise that if the referendum fails, it's just going to cost more later in order to fix the problems that we have. Doing nothing is not an option. We have to do something. This is badly needed. And much overdue. If you'd like to learn more about the school referendum in Franklin Township, we've got a lot more information for you right now at WTHR.com. When students at Central Elementary School in Lebanon head to the classroom, some have to head back outside to get there. To tell them the whole story too. Rockstar. Can I have a high five? Good reading. They're learning in a portable classroom because every other space in the building is full. Abby Sampson's daughter's in kindergarten. We already have a wonderful culture here, but what we don't have is the space to build on that. As new families are coming in, they don't fit into the school physically. We can't get more people in here. It's a pretty tight squeeze in here right now. It is, yes. Yes, it is. Administrators say Central was last renovated more than 30 years ago and is landlocked. It has really no room to grow and we have a lot of students there. So as the city continues to grow, the district wants to build a brand new school a few miles away. It would be Lebanon's first new elementary school in 20 years. Other existing schools would also undergo renovations. And to do all of that, voters will be asked to approve a referendum on the May ballot. Look behind my chair and there's a little ball there too. Another referendum here would provide money to attract, retain, and provide benefits for employees and take over positions that are temporarily provided by grants, including the school corporation's police department. We did the math, and for someone who owns a $150,000 home, it would cost an additional $98 per year. It's very exciting. District leaders say they're hoping voters see the value. Lebanon is, is really a special place, um, and we have just a lot of great opportunities here. And so to see the potential of where we could be in you know five years and preparing for that growth to, to continue to come um, it is really exciting. Today we're going to use Compromise of 1850. Rick Bechtel has dedicated 40 years to teaching in Edinburgh. And 
I wouldn't change a thing. He's about to retire, but worries future generations won't have the opportunity to teach here unless an operating referendum passes. Why not consolidate if the district is at this point where one referendum would mean it couldn't go forward? I grew up in a consolidation uh, and it's just not the same. He thinks Edinburgh will lose some of its charm if the combined middle and high schools are gone. The school corporation is asking taxpayers for $742,000 over eight years. For someone who owns a $100,000 home, that's about $10 more a month. Superintendent Ron Ross says without it, the district will have to consolidate in five years. When you consolidate, you, you lose that central feel, you lose that pride in the community. Because um, we're not going to be Lancers anymore. We're going to be whatever school takes us on. Ross wants to use the money to offer more classes and increase teacher pay. We want to change that and be able to say, you know, there's only a few thousand dollars maybe between us and our competitors. And, but what we have to offer is a, is a stronger brand and that small hometown feel. If this referendum passes, the district would also like to use some of that money on busing. They would like to make it so any student that wants to take a bus to school to have that option. Christian Wade has two kids, but plans to vote no. I think that it's a temporary fix for a, a bigger issue. The district says it's in this spot because of a lack of state funding, limited home and business tax revenue, and declining enrollment. Ross hopes more resources will attract 200 new students. If that happens, he thinks Edinburgh schools will be fine. If this doesn't pass and there is a consolidation, where do your kids go? <sighs> That would be a conversation with neighboring districts. An unknown district, Bechtel points out, may have or request a referendum of its own. If you're going to pay a school tax, why not pay it for our kids and keep them here? Yeah, we should wait a second here. This is Keystone. A walk in the potential footsteps of his students. Well, right now we pick up door to door. If voters don't renew the district's referendum, it plans to cut bus routes, meaning 12 to 1,500 kids will take a trek like this, navigating puddles, potholes, and of course cars, many times without a sidewalk in sight. Those people who live closest to schools will be the routes that would be affected, and, and we would have to either have them walk to school or their parents would have to bring them to school. Mapes doesn't want kids dodging cars if he can help it. It's not just financial. Safety is our number one issue. I think everybody's aware of what's happened recently in Marion County in central Indiana um, with some students at bus stops who unfortunately have been hit by cars. Yeah. And I don't want that to happen in Perry Township. Neither does school resource officer Lucas Quinlan. The risk is super high. He was an accident investigator for IMPD before joining Perry Township Police. Quinlan says pedestrian accidents are on the rise locally. With distracted driving, distracted pedestrians walking with their cell phones, things like that, it puts kids at risk. Busing is just a small part of how the district will use the referendum dollars. They are. 92% or $17.8 million will cover the salaries of teachers like Melinda Weiss Mathis. She helps English learners. I know that if this referendum does not pass, then um, it's a very good likelihood that I will be stretched very thin if I still have my job. That's a nervous laugh. Weiss Mathis is scared of losing her position. School leaders say 193 teaching jobs and 41 other positions are tied to the referendum vote. So if this doesn't pass, you're going to have to fire teachers. That is correct. MAPES wants voters to know the wording on the ballot is a bit confusing. Voting yes will not raise taxes. The district is only asking voters to extend the current referendum. So you're not asking people to pay more, you're asking them to continue paying what they're paying. That is correct. This is a no tax increase for our residents. Without their vote, MAPES fears bigger classes, less academic and extracurricular options, fewer staff, and a more dangerous path to class for hundreds of students. And so it is devastating if it does not pass. A decision that will impact kids inside and outside the classroom.